So this is my trade command center. Basically, there are a lot of things. I will go through all of them really fast without losing your time. Uh, one of the most important things on this trade command center is the dashboard. And it's the place where I'm sharing my uh, trades. As you can see, it's really easy to read. Uh, we have the time when I posted this trade for the first time or edited this trade because some trades are going on and going on uh, days and days. If they're higher time frame trades, they're going for more than one day. And I'm sharing them. So we have the time, as I said, we have exact time when they posted. And the current time of the server is this one. By the way, it's not my current time over here. It's uh, Eastern time. Then we have the pair. Then we have the direction, as you can see, really easy to read, buy or sell with an arrow. We have the time frame for the trade, H4 in this case here, over here it's M15, M15, M5. Uh, we have the exact entry level, exact stop loss level, a target one and target two. And I like to have two because uh, there is a way uh, we are managing our trades to uh, preserve more profits. Also, we have this uh, uh, option to copy and paste uh, these values. So it's really easy to copy them instead of, you know, doing this like in the past. Right click and so on. Now you have this button copy. And then we have comments over here where I'm uh, commenting what I've done. So in this case, you see uh, it's a trade that is going on for a while. It says update, what I have done, why, what uh, was done, what's the result. Then uh, potential entries, new potential entry. I'm giving more than one. We have two, one normal entry and one that is aggressive and more risky. All right, obviously, if you are a beginner, you should use only the first one. Then we have a chart for this trade. As you can see, when you click on this button, you will see the visual presentation of uh, what is written there. So it's, you see, 3192 possible entries there and there. So it's really easy to use. So probably let me show you how you can use this copy thing because I mentioned it, uh, Adrian. Yes, yes, please do. Can you show us on your live chart? That would be great. So Euro USD, let me see. Let's take Euro USD. Uh, we'll open a chart of Euro USD. Over here, it says four hour, right? It was four hour. Let me see. I will copy this entry. We are buying, copy. Uh, we'll click on new order. It will be a pending order because I will put it up front. So I won't use a market execution order. I will use a pending order. So at this price, paste. Then I will go back, we'll copy stop loss. We'll put my stop loss over here. Then again, over here, uh, take profit target, this one. Okay, copy, paste, and we'll click. In this case, what I've done, I've set a pending order over here. So when the price goes down and hits my entry level, my trading platform will open this trade for me with predetermined stop losses per uh, our trade command center and with the same take profit target as uh, the trade uh, command center, right? Yeah. That's it. Very simple, uh, and, and this can be done on any kind of trading platform, right? It can be MT4, uh, oh. any. All, all trading platforms have uh, pending orders, as long as I know, all of them have price action, so you can use it uh, anywhere or on any platform you use, your broker allows. So if, if people follow you along with this, you can see guys on screen, uh, you could just have a plain chart. It can be a line chart, a candlestick chart, doesn't matter. Uh, mm -hmm. Nothing else on there. It's just... It's not my uh, shows, regular yeah. chart, yeah, because, sorry, but this, uh, uh, this is, by the way, we'll talk about this a bit later. This is the trading system that I'm using, guys, to post these trades in order to come up with these trades anyway, so sorry. No, no, for sure. Thanks, Toshka, because I know that uh, that's a question many people would be wondering about is, okay, how do you get to these levels? And that's the system that you've just showed us now is what you use to create these. And that's what you've basically been developing, I know, for well over 15 years to get to this point. And you've been using it for a couple of years and some of your members also. So that's fantastic.